Hey what's up guys, it is Saiku or Sam here and welcome back to the channel and today I'm really excited to bring you guys a brand new series on the channel where we're gonna be going through some cool assets that we find off of the asset store. We're also gonna extend this series to Unreal Engine and even perhaps CryEngine and other engines that you guys might want to see but for the moment being we'll start off by Unity and let me know in the comments if you want to see another engine being covered up as well. And with that being said guys we'll get started with the first episode of the series which is cool assets under $50. Let's get right into it. So first and foremost guys, we have a asset called Polygon City Pack. This is a 3D model pack created by Synthi Studios, which have also created a few other packs that are named Polygon as well in the beginning of the name. I will also be linking them in the description down below because I personally think their assets are amazing. So I'm gonna have their links in the description if you wanna check it out alongside all the other ones from this video. So as I was saying guys, Polygon City Pack is a 3D model pack located under environments and urban. This asset is primarily used for style stylized games or cartoon games since this style really fits that. What's so very viable with this asset is the fact that you can use it for third person games or first person games, top down games. It really suits for whatever kind of game you're creating in terms of perspective as long as you're creating something along the line of being stylized. All in all, it's a low poly asset pack of characters, buildings, props, vehicles and environment assets so that you can create a city based upon polygonal style game. What's insane is the fact that it has literally 331 unique assets with four alternative texture colors which is insane and these assets are also very modular. Speaking of insanity guys we also had the price for this asset so this follows with a price tag of $19.99 which means literally 20 bucks for 300 plus unique assets. I've been using some of these polygon assets for my own projects that I've been working on and speed level designs I'm gonna use these assets for them as well I'm gonna create some speed level designs based upon these because I'm so in love with the content and I'm so in love with the quality that I receive for these assets. So if you're creating a kind of cartoon or stylized game, make sure to check this asset out, it's pretty cool. Next up guys, we have an asset called Lighting Box 2, next gen lighting solution, which I really agree with. And it's created by Alir Edon. It's located under Editor Extension System. Lighting Box 2 is pretty much an asset you can use for creating AAA looking lighting in a few seconds or minutes, even without any lighting experience, which is totally taken from the asset store page. You can pretty much use this asset for any kind of game you're making which is based upon realism in terms of visual quality. A good thing with this asset is the fact that you're getting support for interior and outdoor scenes which means that you're not gonna have to play around with the values every time your player exits or enters a covered up area. Some of its main features located on the asset store page too are basically save and load settings to or from lighting profiles, drag and drop settings menu, post-processing stack 2 support based on the best post effect settings and tessellated terrain shaders and these are just a few of the different features that this asset has to offer. Now let's get into the price. So you're paying basically five bucks, literally five dollars for all the features that follows within this asset and it only costs five dollars for getting a such a high quality lighting system for Unity. I believe that the price is very fair if not even underpriced because I believe that this asset is really good. I've been using it for myself as well. It really looks gorgeous and when you actually activate all the effects that comes within this asset, you do realize a big difference. And next up guys, we have an asset called Easy Roads 3D Pro. And this asset is created by Andasoft and it's located under Editor Extensions and Terrain. This asset is literally just incredibly viable because you can use it for pretty much any kind of game or whatever you're actually making, whether it be an animation, whether it be a movie, something like that, or even just the whole entire game. You can still use this asset for creating incredibly simple and beautiful roads for your project. What really makes this asset so simple and good is the fact that you have all these dots or like highlight points that you can actually place down upon your terrain, your meshes, whatever you might be using as a ground or a surface for your game 
and then you just place down these points and you click on generate road and it generates it for you. This asset is also very viable with the fact in mind that you get to pick all the textures and materials for your roads you want to use. You also get some demo ones from the asset itself which is amazing and you also get to choose your own ones obviously. And so for the price we have a little bit higher price tag for this asset. It's located at $45 right at the limit for this video. <laughs> it was almost being missed out on. No but really it's located at $45 but I believe that it's one of my most essential assets that I've been using so far in Unity whenever I was creating my speed level designs especially because it really made my day so much easier when I actually got to draw literally draw my roads where I wanted them. And last but not least guys we have a asset called Asset Hunter 2 which is located under Editor Extensions Utilities and it's created by Heureka Games. What's good about this asset is the fact that it's so viable with the fact in mind that you, it doesn't really matter what kind of project you're creating whether it be a game, animation, movie or whatever it can still be used in any kind of project since it's just going to hunt down your unused assets. This is especially good for you if you're creating a big project if you have an entire team working on a project and you don't really want these assets lurking around in your project that you're not really using right and so this asset has the features to actually list these assets that you can, you're not using so actively and it makes it so much easier for you to minimize build size by using that feature and that's just one of the multiple features that it has to offer and this asset comes at a price tag of $15 which means that you're for $15 you're getting an editor extension which is going to help you clean your project and keep it clean for as long as you're working on your project and I've been using asset hunter 2 for myself as well I also use the first generation of the asset and it's been insane because I have a very 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 big project for my speed level designs and I obviously want to keep it as clean as possible so that I can say my levels more much more faster if I have to build something as a demo I want to be able to build that demo faster and I don't want to wait for these building times. So Asset Hunter 2 has been really working in my favor and if you're creating a game where you want to be able to clean your project a lot more efficiently this asset should be something you could pick up. And that will be all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all enjoyed this video and new series that I'm starting on the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new series and what you think of this specific video. If you have any feedback to me for me to grow as a YouTuber or whatever it could be. Or if you just want to say hi, you're always welcome in the community down below. Also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date for new videos coming soon. And also drop a like down below if you enjoyed the video. And with that being said, I will catch you in the comments. See you guys. Peace out.